fossil fuel dependency is among the largest causes of Nepal's economic woes. Pollution from petroleum-powered vehicles is a significant public health crisis. Electric vehicles can help Nepal address both these issues and more. But is Nepal ready to electrify its private and public mobility on a significant scale? In recent years, Nepal's energy crisis is reduced significantly as our domestic energy production and transmission capacities have increased. So we are at a unique and opportune moment where Nepal can sensibly make a transition to electric mobility for both public and personal use. So, I think the ICE vehicle is switched to electric vehicle. I think generally, there are a lot of insecurities. There are a lot of insecurities. There are a lot of distance travel. What if the charge is locked? And there are a lot of charging stations in Nepal. So, the charging station is locked. It's much better. I mean, the other way, I think we can switch to electric vehicle. With the ADV's assistance, we have also been able to set up a pilot national charging network. We are certain this pilot has laid the foundation for a larger national network through public-private partnership, which will go a long way in addressing the public's range anxiety. ADB has been engaged in the Nepal's energy sector for a long time. We are supporting generation, transmission, distribution, and now also modernizing NEA through our investment, technical assistance, knowledge, and partnership. And this work on electric mobility is a natural extension of our support to the government, which will essentially help Nepal in its clean energy transition in the transport sector. As I'm coming from Norway, as I work in the energy sector, I'm uh, in a way proud to see that Norway is on the forefront in terms of promoting e-vehicles in the world. You know, there's been a very consistent policy development for the last 30 years. And I think this has some lessons, you know, for Nepal, that the consistency in policy is very, very crucial. Some act because they are very environmentally con conscious, but the majority act because of financial incentives. And the financial incentives must be very consistent over time. The time is now to set in place holistic, stable incentives and policies for some time, so that the private sector and consumers know what to expect, allowing them and even us, the government, to plan accordingly. A holistic policy framework with a private-public partnership must address range anxiety, mass transit's charging needs, and create a sustainable mobility ecosystem in Nepal. The technology is available. The private and public market demand and domestic need for this transition is growing. A roadmap for EV transition can supercharge Nepal's sustainable greener future.